Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and in this video I'm going to show you a new app on an Android market uh, that's known as Google Currents. Actually, uh, I always miss a app that's called Flipboard that was on the iPad and recently it has been on, also announced for the iPhone but still we do not have that for, what do you say, the Android phone and Google has come up something similar like that and it's known as Google Currents. Actually, I was about to make this video yesterday, but I just started loading this app and about I was using this app just for about three hours and it is very similar to what you call Flipboard, but it's uh, made by Google and it's a little bit different. So first uh, in the library uh, pane, you get a few uh, magazines preloaded and I say it is advisable to use this uh, app on a Wi-Fi connection because it does download a lot of data and again you get the uh, basically reading experience like a magazine experience and it works very fluidly you can click on a basically story to read stuff and it's formatted uh, in a very clean format so that you can easily read the same and let's go back to the home you can also press this plus button to add more uh, magazines or publications for example let's go to what do you say uh, entertainment and you have all these magazines you can just add any uh, most of them are right now free as you can see it's uh, denoted that it's free and you can select them I'm gonna go back and we have quite a few selection actually we have uh, sports business generic news science and technology etc and for example let's go to PC world uh, and the content is uh, formatted for the small screen and you can uh, easily uh, click on any story to read the same and it's highly addictive because I just started using this app and I don't know about I was using it for about two hours and the good thing about this app is that it's naturally on the Android but it is also uh, available for the iOS platform and well there's one more thing that I wanted to show you about this app and that's this trending option this is basically a, what do you say a, a news feed and it basically uh, on the fly basically tries to get the latest news that's happening again you can customize this also for example i've added this uh, technology option so whatever happen is happening latest in the technology will be shown here in the trending option uh, let me just go to a, a story that's already loaded and once you click on the same it gives uh, it pulls in all the news feeds etc uh, about the story that's happening and it also pulls in the user generated data and let's go to Macworld now and uh, I have seen quite a few publications that they have a separate section about video also so you can actually watch a lot of videos directly via this app this app is completely free uh, and it can be downloaded right now from the Android marketplace but sadly it's currently only available to what do you say uh, US uh, users but if you are smart, you can easily get the APK and install it. I'm in India. Officially, it was not available by the market, but I installed it via APK. The other thing is that I found this app to be a little bit uh, heavy on the battery. For example, let me show you my battery usage. And you see this huge dip. This is when I was using the Google current. So this app does take up quite a bit of battery because uh, it is actually syncing a lot of data as you can see that's actually syncing data right now so this is basically google currents uh, and uh, if you're using an android phone and you are missing an app like flipboard give this uh, application a try that's it for now i hope you found this video helpful uh, this is ranjit for tech2bus.com and hopefully i'm going to see you in my next video